Hi, I am Ram Gopal from presentationprocess.com. In this video, you will learn how to create sticker effect in PowerPoint 2013. The sticker effect you will learn to create today looks like this. <laughs> Isn't this beautiful? It's very easy to create the sticker effect and I'll show you how to do it from scratch. Here I am on a new slide. The first thing we need is some text to convert into a sticker. So I'm going to go to Auto Shapes menu. From Basic Shapes, I'm going to pick up this text box tool and I'm going to write a word. In this case, I'm going to write uh, the name of one of our sites called Prezo Training. So it is called prezotraining.com. So I'm going to create a sticker for that particular site. I am going to choose a thicker font for this text because that will allow you to really showcase your sticker effect even more uh, beautifully. So I'm going to choose a thicker font like say Arial Black and I'm going to really increase the font size. So this is a very good size. The next thing is to make a duplicate of this. So I'm going to press Ctrl D, which is the shortcut for duplicate, and I'm going to keep it here. Now, what we are going to do is to select this particular text, then go to Format, go to Text Outline, and I'm going to choose White Outline. Now, you may not really see the white outline much, so I'm going to go to Text Effects, go to Shadow, and I'm going to choose this shadow called as offset center under outer. So I'm going to select this. Now you can always make these effects a little more pronounced by right clicking and going to format shape option, going to text options. This is very important. If you're going to work with shape options, then you will not see any of the effects that I'm going to show you. So you need to work with text options because that is what we are trying to work here. So text options. Now, a few things that we are going to do to make some of the effects that we have added a little more pronounced is, I added a text outline if you remember. I'm going to make that seriously big. So maybe around 25 is the thickness of the outline that I'm going to add. Now, as soon as I did that, you can see that there is this beautiful outline that is created. Now, whenever you create an outline like this, there is a chance that you might have some small holes here because of the text here. So what I suggest is you go to Home tab, go to the Rectangle tool from Auto Shapes menu, and then draw a small rectangle that covers all these holes. Go to Shape Outline, No Outline, go to Shape Fill, and choose the same color as um, the outline of the text that you had chosen. You select both of them and press Ctrl G. Now, if you want, you can always add a little uh, more pronounced shadow like I have selected the earlier text with outline and let me go to the text options and in the effects I'm going to increase the effect of the shadow so I'm going to go to size and increase the shadow effect now can you see the shadow is a lot more pronounced now we have got the same text taken as an outline and I have increased the outline to 25 and I have filled the holes with an auto shape and I have added a good amount of shadow. So this is what we have done so far. Now I'm going to do the next step, which is I'm going to make a copy of this once more. I'm going to say Control D, which is the shortcut for duplicate. And just to differentiate this, I'm going to choose a different font color, maybe uh, something like red. We are going to change this anyway, so don't really bother too much about selecting the right color or something. I'm just using this to differentiate this from this original text. Now I'm going to create a sheen. So let us go to Home tab, go to Auto Shapes menu, pick up the Rectangle tool and draw a rectangle. Now select the text first and then while holding the Shift button select the rectangle uh, next. Then go to Format, go to Merge Shapes and say Subtract. What this has done is it has converted my text into shapes and it has cut the shape into this particular uh, result. Now that this is done, I'm going to change the shape fill because now this is a shape, if you remember. I'm going to change the shape fill to white and I'm going to place this right on top of my earlier text. Now you can see that the text is now looking like it is really shining with uh, light and I'm going to increase the transparency level to suit your liking. Now that looks like a beautifully shining text. I'm going to select both these and I'm going to press Ctrl G, which is the shortcut for group. 
I'm going to right click, bring to front, and I'm going to place this right on top of the earlier effect that we had created. And now we have a phenomenally beautiful sticker effect. Now, if you want, you can always change the font color to something more dramatic, maybe like say orange color or blue color or green color, you have total flexibility. Now the best part about this is, now if I want to change this and make a different sticker with different text, I can always do that. For example, I'm going to press Ctrl D to make a duplicate of this. And let us say, uh, in this case, the text that I'm going to use is say sticker. Okay, so I can use something like that. And this one I can make till here. Now we have the background ready. Now let me take this text and press Ctrl C, Ctrl V, Ctrl C, Ctrl V is, Ctrl C is for copy, Ctrl V is for paste. And I'm going to change this to sticker. And let me bring this forward, bring to front and place this here. Now the sticker effect is ready. Now if you want the sheen, all you need to do is to make a copy of this. And as we had done earlier, go to home and you cut this into half. Uh, go to format, merge shapes and uh, subtract and then place this on top of the earlier one. Change the shape fill to white, add transparency and there it is. Once you create one sticker, then you can always use the same elements to recreate any number of stickers you want with any text that you want. It is such a simple and useful trick to learn. Now talking about learning PowerPoint, I want to give a quick shout out to our other YouTube channel, which is called as Prezo Training website. There I post daily videos on basic and essential PowerPoint training. So check this YouTube channel out. I hope you really liked the tutorial you saw in this video. If you did, then you will really love our 25 creative ideas email course. You will get daily email lessons for five days with tips and techniques in PowerPoint you can implement readily. You will be able to access videos, downloads and examples to learn easily and thoroughly. So click on this red button here and start your free course now and I'll see you inside the email course.